check one two check one two lesson 20 uh, is called three ways to show division okay so here we have the problem uh, 12 divided by 4 so here's three ways to show 12 divided by 4 in the first form we have a division box in the second form we have a division sign and in the third form, we use a division bar. Um, to solve longer division problems, we usually use the division box. In later math courses, you will use the division bar more often, and you should be able to read and solve division problems in each of these forms and change them from one form to another. Okay, the reason we're gonna be using the division bar later is because we're going to show um, this is like, this is an improper fraction and we're gonna be doing a lot with improper fractions, okay? So um, that's why we're gonna be using the division bar a lot later. So three numbers are involved in every division problem. So if, for this one, we're gonna use this example 15. So this is uh, green, you can see I did number one. The number that is being divided is 15, it's called the dividend. And then this blue number is the number by which it is being divided. That's the divisor. And then this answer right here, the answer to the division problem is called the quotient, okay? So you have the divided, I'm sorry, divided, dividend, divisor, and quotient. Okay, this is, um, these numbers are called dividend, divider, and quotient. In the examples uh, in this example above, the dividend is 15, the divisor is 3, and the quotient is 5. The location of these numbers in each form is shown right here, okay? So in the, with the division box, you'd have the divisor on the outside, the dividend on the inside, and the quotient or answer on top, okay? And with the division sign, this is what we just used right here, you have the dividend divided by the divisor, and that equals the quotient. And with the division bar, you have the dividend on top, the divisor on the bottom, and the quotient over here. Um, so example one, use words. So you're gonna say, Miss Sparks, why do I have to write all this? Because you might get confused about the position of these in these um, different types of ways to show division. And so this will, sh the, you'll, all you'll have to do is flip back to lesson 20, three ways to show division, and you'll know all you need to know. Example one, yes, write this. Use words to show how each division problem is read. Okay, so in A, how is this division read? 12 divided by 6. B, 12 divided by 6. C, 12 divided by 6. So in all three ways, it's 12 divided by 6. Okay? Example 2, write this division problem in two different forms. 15 divided by 3. So they give you one form, you've got to come up with the other two forms. So you're going to use the division bar, 15 divided by 3, and the division box, 15 divided by 3. Example 3, tell which is the divisor, dividend, and quotient, okay? So I use little symbols here. I use the divisor, I had a heart. The dividend, I had a star, and I don't know what happened with these. And the quotient, I used a smiley face, okay? So the divisor is down here, the dividend is up here, and the quotient is here. All right, in B, the uh, divisor is out here, the dividend is out here, and the quotient is on top. And in this way, you have the dividend divided by the divisor and equals the quotient. Lesson practice A, show 10 divided by two, three different ways. I want you to do that, even though you've been looking at it. 10 divided by two, or use the division box, or use the division bar. And B, rewrite each problem with a division box and solve, okay, so 63 divided by seven. 63 is the biggest number, okay, so you're gonna box it in, okay? Like if you're the head honcho, everyone wants to box you in. That's not true. I just said that. Um, 63, the big one, okay, what are you dividing it by? Seven, how many times can seven go into 63? Nine. All right, same with this. Um, so 42 with a six 
on the, um, so 42 is the dividend and the divisor, oh, I'm sorry, 42, yep, is the dividend and the divisor is six. So 42 divided by six equals seven. Um, Cause six times seven is 42, nine times uh, seven is 63 and 30 divided by six. 30 divided by six and that is five. Have a great day.